Good evening. Welcome back. It's Thursday the 27th of August 2020. It's been a minute. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to talk. So when I do these, I try and relate a portion of my day to some part of the video before I get into what I want to talk about. So you generally have to bear with yeah, a minute and a half, two minutes of my rambling before you get to the meat and potatoes of it. Like I say, refunds are at the end. So today, I get a dispatch to this older gentleman's house. Says he's having trouble with his phone and his life alert, something to that effect. I get there. He asked me to reboot his phone for him. So, you know, I was like, hey, I make no promises, but I'll see what I can do. Technologically speaking, what you see is generally what you get. So we get to talking. Man's got a landline. But he was trying to get a hold of his rep for the Department of the Aging for our county. The only way the lady will talk to him is via email or text message. And he flat out said, he's like, I'm not that savvy with a computer or a phone. And, um, you know, I dealt with the rep for our area in the past. She's one of those H2O people, you know, path of least resistance. Basically, any work of hers that she can get other people to do, she will. Now, I know this particular rep. I dealt with her while dealing with my father before he ended up in a nursing home. And when I dealt with her, oh, I'm very overwhelmed. I, you know, I've got a high caseload. Lo and behold, six, seven years later, this lady's still shoveling the same shit on people. And how do I know she's shoveling shit? Because she was supposed to check in with uh, one of her... I don't know what they call them. They're not patients, right? I guess clients or uh, cases. And um, she calls her non emergency number. And uh, it gets us to go over there for a dude that. Um, Well, he wasn't faring so well mentally. He was there, you know, 100%, but he was a widow, he missed his wife, his kids moved on, he had nobody to talk to, he was all alone. Long and short of it is, dude wanted somebody to talk to, she didn't want to be bothered. The gentleman I dealt with today was trying to arrange a ride to a doctor's appointment. The lady wouldn't take his call, she would only take an email or a text message. Some shit when it's your job and you treat it like that. That bothers me. Anyway, this will probably get more comments in the actual video. So current events, right? That's what the title of this is. And you got to listen to me ramble for four minutes today. Like I said, extra refund at the end. So Jacob Blake another innocent man gunned down by the police. Turns out he wasn't so innocent. Guy had a rap sheet as long as my arm. 
for many of the things that he was dealing with the police for the day he was shot. Domestic battery being one of them, assault being another. He was also a pedo. Um, he decided to fight with the cops in a domestic dispute. Got tased, that didn't work. Wrestled with the cops, made his way back to his vehicle, which his children were in. Turned his back to the cop that was trying to grab him and get him into custody. Reached for a knife and got shot seven times. And Kenosha burned. Because, well, the part about the knife was left out. Either the next day or the day after, a dude in Minnesota that was being arrested for shooting somebody the day prior took his own life, put a gun to his head, blew his brains out, and uh, for whatever reason, that narrative was the cops killed him, even though the Minneapolis Police Department released all the body cam footage, most Ricky Tick. Minneapolis burned. Who thinks it's still about race? If you're the one person raising your hand in the back, you might want to take that as a cue to put it down. Who thinks it's still about justice? Who thinks it's just about causing chaos, anarchy, and breaking things because you can? Well, you'd be right to raise your hand for that one. Kenosha, Wisconsin is one of those towns, it's not a big town at all, it's like a suburb of I don't even know what. The only time I've ever heard of that town, other than recently in the news, was in Uncle Buck. I'm going to show my age with that one. Go look up the movie Uncle Buck. You want a good laugh, like good old-fashioned comedy, and you want to hear the only other place you're ever going to hear about Kenosha, Wisconsin, watch that movie. So two nights of the liberal mayor and the liberal governor allowing this town to be burned to the ground. And on the second night, you had this group of, I don't know what, private citizens, I guess. We'll call them, because I don't think they were militia by any standard. And vigilante isn't the right term. So we'll just call it private citizens that were armed. Go there to protect businesses. This kid, Kyle, from Peoria, Illinois, went there to protect business and act as a medic. If you watch the video from start to finish, the first guy that got shot, the dude that got domed, was trying to start a fight with this kid and the other guys that were protecting that gas station. The second guy, don't recall if he was in the initial video, I believe he was. But after he shot the first guy, this guy went after him, swinging a skateboard and trying to hit him with that he got shot in the chest. The third guy pulled a gun and got shot in the arm. And for those of you 
that thing 556 five, is a shitty round. Look at the wound to that guy's arm. I'm gonna guess amputation. If he ends up keeping it, it won't be very useful. That's a side trip to where I'm going with this whole thing. For months and months, this has been going on. And for months and months, I've been saying it's only a matter of time until somebody shoots back. The left got their sacrificial victims out of these three guys. One was a pedo, one was a burglar, and I forget what the other one's claim to fame was, but he had some kind of criminal background as well. Or he was just an agitator. I don't recall which. So these three good-for-nothings pressed an issue with this kid. And I'm going to call him a kid because he was 17. And they got shot for it. Forget the fact that the first dude that got shot through a Molotov cocktail, the second dude was trying to beat the hell out of the kid along with the rest of the crowd, and the third dude was about to shoot him. You won't hear that in the media. You're going to hear about the violent right-wing white supremacist with the evil fully automatic AR-15. That's what you're going to be branded if you fight back. Now, mind you, there is no evidence to suggest that the 17-year-old was any kind of a white supremacist. There was no evidence to suggest that he went there looking for a fight. Besides, if we're supposed to believe all these quote-unquote unarmed black men that are killed by police were unarmed and innocent until the facts bear out that they weren't, we should believe that this kid is innocent in intention until the facts bear out that he wasn't. Given the amount of video and the fact that after he shot the first guy, you can see him walking away on the phone and if you listen to the video, you hear him saying, I shot someone, send help. Malice of forethought doesn't play into it. There goes your murder one charge. Now me and a couple of buddies have been going back and forth. This kid's going to get charged. He's not going to get charged. Well, he's charged. He's going to get convicted as a sacrifice. He's not going to get convicted. Given what I found out earlier this evening, I don't think this boy's going to be convicted of anything. If anything comes out of this, somebody's going to owe him some money. He's got Linwood defending him pro bono. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy who defended Richard Jewell the accused Atlanta bomber that they had absolutely no effect, evidence to arrest when they was other than he fit the profile because he lived with his mother and he was a security guard. That's what that, that's what that case was based on. He is also the attorney that sued the ever-loving hell out of CNN and a few other outlets and ended up with what I'm guessing is a pretty nice settlement for Nicholas Sandman. So now he's going to take up this kid's case. So I suspect this kid will never see the inside of a jail cell. Other than maybe pre-trial holder. The problem is that little douchebag, Sean King of BLM. By the way, if you don't know it, he's white. 
he's not even black. He's plain. He is a male Rachel Dolezal. Already doxed this kid and his family the night of the shooting. And basically put a bounty on them. So. That's what you can expect if you stand up to the bully. Now, with that being said, the mayor of Kenosha and the governor of Wisconsin threw all the National Guard on the street and shut that shit down real quick. It's amazing how real it gets when the rioters get got. Am I advocating violence? No. Am I saying violence is the answer? In some cases, yes. Like when someone's throwing a Molotov cocktail at you. Or when a dude's going for a knife. Also to think about... They said they were going to the suburbs. Kenosha is by all accounts a suburban neighborhood. It is not a major city. is not the sprawling metropolis that New York, Minneapolis, Chicago, LA, and cities like that are. So, do I expect this to calm down for a little bit? They've got to regroup. That being said, these guys aren't stupid. They figured out that people are willing to shoot them to protect themselves. Even if this is a one-off. People are willing to use violence and firearms to protect themselves from violence and firearms. I'll get into more on the kid in another video. <coughs> but I would suspect that those little commie rioters are going to use this as a call to arms. And I discussed that with a friend of mine as well. So, if you live in an area that might be affected by, say, a riot, prepare accordingly. Even if you don't live in an area that might be affected by a riot, should probably prepare accordingly because I'm guessing the people of Kenosha never thought it would happen there. Anyway, almost 20 minutes in. That's enough of my mouth for one night. You guys be safe. Watch your six. Out for now.